Hey sophomores, how you doing? Here to make your video for Friday's class. So um, let's begin here and let's take a look at what we need to get done. So our objective that we're going to be looking at is on colonialism and slavery. And the first part of our chapter is going to be for the objective, explain what were the effects of Spanish conquest on indigenous people in the Americas from 1450 until 1750. So let's take a look at what our plan is and what is on our agenda. All right, so here is what we are doing. Number one, your note packet should be done for part one of this chapter. That was pages one through six. That might have changed now because when you type in there, you know, it gets a little weird sometimes. But that should be pages one through six, and that should have been done by Thursday at 1159. Let me show you where to find that if you don't exactly know where that is. So if you look on your on the website, if we go back to Tuesday and Wednesday, here is where the packet is. And if you need directions on how to take notes on that, always watch the directions for the videos. They'll give you exact directions what you're supposed to do and watch that and make sure part one of your packet is finished, page one through six. You'll find tons of information on here. Uh, it's, some of it's real hard to read and learn about but about exactly what happened with um, colonialism, especially as the Spanish and the Portuguese came into the Americas. So make sure that all of those videos and readings are done. All right, so what do we do with that information? Let's take a look at it. So um, in this chapter, you're gonna be assessed on a lot of the standards we've been assessed on for, and it'll be an opportunity to raise your grade. And I'm also gonna email students who are missing these standards, and you'll get a personal email letting you know that if you pass this one, you will pass the standard for the class. But everyone, these are due, and um, uh, when you get them done, it'll give you the possibility to raise your GPA. So <clears throat> the Flipgrid question, let's take a look at that right now. Now, many of you have not been doing the Flipgrid questions. You have two options to do the Flipgrid. One is answer it on the Flipgrid website. The other is to send me an email. If it's not done, it will be a zero. And many of you found out your grade was lower last time because you didn't do the Flipgrid. So I highly encourage you to do the Flipgrid questions. They are an assignment. It's not just like an idea or something nice to do. So our question on the Flipgrid is about the effects of colonialism. And the question is, what do you think were the biggest effects of colonialism on indigenous people? Now, when I say indigenous people, that means people who were native of the Americas, not the Europeans or the Spanish coming over, but the native people who are originally living in the Americas. What are the biggest effects on them? And if you're wondering, where can you find that question? That question is on the website. So if I look at the website, our new post that I'm actually putting up just after I make this video, it's right here. You click on there and you answer the question. Now, Flipgrid's not working. If you can't get it to work, then you open up an email and you type your answer and you send it to me and you can still get credit. Many students got credit by doing that. One reason why I like to put it on Flipgrid though is because other people can watch your answer. And if someone's confused and they don't really understand it, you can watch a couple other people talk and learn from them. So if you can, please post that on Flipgrid. All right, so that is the assignment that's going to be due on Sunday, by Sunday at 11.59. You should have that Flipgrid done. Now I am gonna make a new video for Monday, um, but here is the plan for Monday, what your assignment is going to be for Monday. And if a few of you wanna start on this early, I might use an example. I'll take a name off if I do. But um, uh, your question is going to be from our graphic organizers. and the question is our causation standard, and it's our objective. It's to explain what were the effects of the Spanish conquest on indigenous people in the Americas in the early modern era from 1450 to 1750. So let me show you your job for Monday is to just fill out the CEE -E graphic organizer. I'll repeat that. Your job for Monday is to just fill out the graphic organizer. By Wednesday at 11.59 next week, your job will be to type this up and turn it in. 
but by Monday, you just have to have the graphic organizer filled out by Monday at 11.59. So if I am in third period, I go down here, I click on third period, and my homework for Monday is to fill one of these out. Now, Cage is up there because Alan is going alphabetical order. Oh, by the way, I had someone email me and say their name wasn't on one of these. If your name's not here for whatever reason, which is weird, email me and tell me, okay? There was three students who weren't on there last time and I was able to put them on. All right, so if I'm the student, any student, what I do is I find my name and then I go to question one. I'm only answering question one. So only answer question one. Go to your name and fill out the C-E-E, -E, only question one, only your name. Only question one, only your name. And then put your claim, what you think was, explain what the effects of the Spanish conquest and indigenous people were. What were the effects? You can put what you think was the biggest effect. You can put a couple of effects there, but what were the effects of Spanish conquest on the indigenous people? So how does it affect the indigenous people who live in the Americas? Put your claim there, then put your evidence from our packet from the reading and videos, and then your explanation. Now, in your explanation, you can talk about long-term effects. You can make connections to today. You can make connections to religion class, to anything else that you learned elsewhere. But make a connection in here, just like we have for our rubric that we've talked about several times over. Um, and on Wednesday, I will be grading this as a standard, and I'll show you the rubric for that next week on a new video. So what do you need to get done? Let's take a look at this. By Sunday, 11.59, make sure you answer the Flipgrid question on the website. And again, where do I find that? I find that right here. I click on there, I answer the question. Either I record myself or I send it to Mr. Wood by email. Then you go to your class period, you find your name and you fill out the graphic organizer claim evidence explanation and that is due by monday at 11:59. you will need to type this up and turn it in on turnin.com by wednesday at 11:59. so if you want to get an early start and start typing this thing early i am totally fine with that and this will be the causation standard and if you're missing the causation standard if you haven't passed it yet expect an email from me uh in the Probably today, at the latest, you'll get this email by Monday. All right, that is all we have, sophomores. So I uh, hope you guys have a very good weekend. And that is our assignment, and that is our work.